This is Dimitri Lascaris reporting from Paris, France for The Real News. Today, at the 12th hour, on the 12th day of the 12th month of 2015, climate activists and ordinary citizens from Paris and from around the world have gathered here steps away from the Arc de Triomphe in the center of Paris on a broad boulevard to express their profound concern for the state of the climate and for the direction that global governments are taking in terms of dealing with the climate crisis. The word this morning is that a final agreement has been struck here at COP21 and that that agreement is being presented this afternoon for approval to heads of state. But nobody here, I think, has any illusions about how little that agreement appears to have accomplished and how much work remains to be done. So uh, we're going to try to give you a, a sense of the, the size of this gathering. It's truly impressive. It's as though uh, the days of prohibition on large gatherings have uh, resulted in a lot of built up, pent up energy and uh, there's an explosion of civil society out here. And uh, we'll let you have a look for yourselves just how many people have gathered here today. What's your name? My name is Antonio Zambrano and I am from the Citizen Movement Against Climate Change from Peru. And uh, are you joined here also from uh, by, by colleagues from Peru? Yes, actually we all we are uh, from Peru and we are right now demanding to the UN the, the climate justice. And, and uh, may I ask what your names are? Lorena, also from Peru. My name is Katy from Peru. Jorge Meneses. And uh, how long have you been here? How we are all the, the last two weeks, uh, we are this, the, try to organize the, the civil society in all around the pa Paris and all around the world, actually. And uh, have you been following closely the negotiations? Yes, actually, we was inside the negotiation, but we, we, we were also in uh, around all these movements, try to organize us, to try to pr push the governments. And based on the reports you've seen thus far, what do you think of the agreement that appears to have uh, been struck here? Actually, we really believe that it's not it's not enough for the for the world, for the entire world. So we, right now, it's the last moment to try to push them. But actually, we really believe that it's it's not necess necessarily the, the the only thing that we have to do. We have to go forward them and, uh, and beyond them and try to do something else for for us, for all the people on the world of the world. Well, thank you very much. A pleasure talking to you. Thank you. So, uh, ladies, could you tell me uh, your names and where you're from? Jean Colvin, San Francisco, and sometimes Ecuador. <laughs> Catherine Muller, Greenville, South Carolina. And uh, why have you come here today, ladies? I just wanted to be part of this. I've been in involved with 350 and fighting for, you know, action against climate change for quite a long time. So I had to be here in Paris. Awesome, Jean. <laughs> And I'm here for the same reason. I'm very passionate about climate change. I think you really have a moral obligation to be here because climate change, I think, is the great moral issue of our time. And I don't think the average person's getting that yet, but um, hopefully this will wake them up a little bit. 
Well, thank you very much for sharing your thoughts for us. Thank you. So could you tell me your name and where you're from, sir? My name is Peter Lomans. I'm from the Netherlands. And uh, why are you here today? Because of the, the climate action uh, today happening in Paris. And uh, have you been following the developments in the negotiations at the COP21? Not of today, but in the last two weeks I've been following them. And uh, do you have a sense of the outcome and whether it's satisfactory, whether it's going to be enough to protect humanity from the uh, worst effects of climate change? I, I would be very surprised if it was satisfactory. Uh, but if, if, if you look around you, what's happening here, here's the energy, here's the positive energy, the people who care, uh, who want to protect other people in other parts of the world and want to protect the planet and not protect ourselves in the end. And on the other side, if you look at the COP, that's the, the old system protecting itself trying to give away as little as possible and I think it would be nice if those people came over here and see the, the positive energy here and the will of the people to change to, to start anew with a new system. Thank you very much sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Take care. My name is Dimitri Lascaris. I'm from the Real News Network. Uh, where are you ladies from? Ladies and gentlemen we're from um, London and Wales. And your, your, your name is ma'am? Julia. I understand that you have a message for the viewers of the Real News. We do. We do. Once we gloried in the earth's resources, helped ourselves with everything we found. Gamblers learned the game of market forces, played with euro, dollar, yen, or pounds. Those were the days, my friend, we thought they'd never end. We'd sing and dance forever and a day. We live a life we choose. We fight and never lose. For we were young and sure to have our way. Die, 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 Gamblers put our stories emphasizing. Arts that put this climate change in doubt. These are the days, my friend, and now we must defend our planet Earth from selfishness and greed. To save the atmosphere, we'll shout it loud and clear. We will not buy more stuff than we don't need. Die, 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 die,
This is Dimitri Lascaris reporting from Paris, France for The Real News.